PSG are currently performing exceptionally well in Ligue 1 with a remarkable 73% ball possession and an impressive XG of 10.77 in just four games. Their precise passing game boasting a 93% completion rate is a testament to Luis Enrique's outstanding 4-3-3 positional play. This combination can be challenging for their opponents and here's why Enrique's PSG are a force to be reckoned with. Yesterday, we are going to be breaking down Luis Enrique's 4-3-3 at PSG and then recreating that in Football Manager. Don't forget, if you are going to like this video, give this video a like right now for the algorithm. Also, make sure you are subscribed if you haven't and check out the Patreon link. The link will be in a pin comment and in the description. PSG create a heavy numerical advantage against the opponent's first line of pressure when building up. Against Lyon, PSG built with the goalkeeper, back four, holding midfielder and the right-sided central midfielder dropping deep, often having a 7 versus 5 while having two forwards, Mbappe and Asensio versus Lyon, pin the defenders back, creating depth for PSG to progress effectively. When building attacks from the middle third, PSG fullbacks stay deep in almost a flat back four, where they will recycle the ball, shifting the opposition across side to side, patiently waiting for the press or space to appear to play the forward pass. The wingers stay wide to stretch the back line, whereas the PSG central midfielders can occupy the positions inside the channels. PSG shape often resembles a 4-1-5 during the early build-up stages. More on the build-up stages, PSG are very patient and take risk in possession, looking to bait the opposition to press where they can then progress quickly through the lines. To do so, they will often use back passes which triggers the opposition to press or the central defenders would just step on the ball. They'd also use the DM who would play wall passes between the goalkeeper and the two central defenders looking to further bait and keep possession ticking. Once though PSG get past the first line of pressure, they look to get the ball quickly into the wider areas as they can prepare to create a chance. With both wingers having great speed and possessing dribbling quality, this instantly makes PSG dangerous. PSG often use wide rotations too. Vitinha drifted to the left to allow Mbappe to take up the left channel where he could then use his pace to run in behind the defense line. Quick combinations in the wider areas further help the wide rotations effectively unlock the opposition. This was also a theme on the right side between the right sided players. The fullbacks had slightly different roles in moments PSG were looking to move the ball forward to the finishing phase. Hakimi was more adventurous with his forward movements. Dembele held his width on the right hand side and that meant Hakimi could always make an underlapping run. But the right side also used rotation so if Dembele were narrow it would be Hakimi taking a wide position in the team's five man attack. Moving now into the creation and finishing phase, Luis Enrique's PSG would look to break down the defences in wide areas. They do so by having the attackers stretch the defence line, opening the channels for runners to exploit. If the defence chooses to stay narrow, PSG would have two dangerous wingers free on either side of the fullback where they can make runs in behind, anticipating a through pass. Attacking the channels is undoubtedly one way PSG create and finish their positional attacks. We saw this with both Ansencio and Mbappe goals against Lyon. PSG looked to take the opportunities and exploit in the spaces they create between the opposition defenders. If a channel doesn't appear that PSG can exploit, then they will look for quick combinations where they can play 1-2 passes or look to play pullbacks and delicate crosses into the box. Off the ball, PSG look to defend on the front foot. They will look to cut off supply, making it difficult for the opposition to play out. PSG, on average, only allow the opposition seven passes before making a defensive action, demonstrating their high press and their intensity. Their two strikers lead the press in their 4-4-2 defensive shape, where, especially Mbappe, would press intensely, looking to force the opposition backwards where PSG as a team can shift and defend higher up the pitch, or the two strikers pressing can force a turnover in possession. In transition, PSG of course look to counter press after losing possession of the ball. Still, instead of going on a counter attack after winning the ball, PSG instead will look to maintain control so they can build another positional attack. 
And that, my friends, is my tactical analysis on PSG's most recent game against Lyon, where they came away with a very impressive 4-1 victory away from home. But what we are going to do now is go into Football Manager and look to recreate this beautiful positional play 4-3-3 in the game. What I haven't been doing is showing you results in the most recent videos, but in this video, I do feel looking at some of the stats is going to be very, very important. Of course, we did test this with PSG, but I also did it with Stoke because the football that I was seeing at PSG was amazing. But of course, PSG have some amazing players. And I know a lot of you will be saying, well, of course, you're going to play nice football, you're PSG. I mean, the point is to recreate a PSG tactic. So... It's going to be suited for PSG, maybe not so for Stoke. But nonetheless, I thought I would try to see if I can make some of you happy. And we've only played 26 games, so we're in December. And we're currently sitting in second place with Stoke. A team, of course, that do not have the uh, quality that PSG do. And of course, they aren't the best team in the championship neither. But still, regardless, we are second in the championship, which is very, very good. And if we look at some of the stats, the important stats, average possession, we are on 61%. Best pass completion, we're at 88%, currently third. Looking at the passes completed overall, we're second just behind Southampton. Our PPDA is second just behind Cardiff. So at Stoke, it is doing really, really well. Of course, at PSG is where it completely dominated. We won the league and we lost in the Champions League final 2-0 to Real Madrid. They actually completely dominated that game. Coupe de France, we won that. And the Trophies, the Champions, we won that. Now, this is the beautiful screen. All you're going to see is PSG, PSG, PSG in the important metric so most goals most shots for fewer shots against most possessions 66% to PSG and best pass completion 91% to PSG we had the fewest conceded the most clean sheets we had the most passes attempted per game the best PPDA the best headers one ratio not sure why that's important we had the second most final third passes so possibly there's something to tweak there and of course as we can see the non-penalty expected goals per 90 we have no issues in creating our chance chances though we are currently hugging the ball away from our opposition but let's break down the tactic in football manager the match clips that may pop up when i'm speaking are match clips from the tactic so let's break down the player roles at left back for the hernandez role we are going to be using a fullback on it's on automatic he can choose to get further forward or hold his position though we are asking him to look to hold his position more often the two central defenders are ball playing defenders we don't have any player instructions on them the fullback on the right hand side is a fullback on attack and again no instructions we do have a super keeper in goal and the super keeper is on attack moving forward to the manuel agate role which is using a defensive midfielder on support someone that we can just rely on playing a pass and then receiving back from him so for an example the right side of central defender passes it to the dm dm passes it back to the left side of central defender we are able to recycle whilst everybody else can get into their positions on the right hand side of midfield we're using the mazala on support so and that's going to look to obviously attack those channels something that we really really want from a psg tactic we could have technically used two mazalas on support or on attack whatever one you want to break those two channels but in the analysis as we saw Virginia often drifted out to the left you can say that Carrillero role in supporting that left channel for them a lot of the times Mbappe would go into the front to look to obviously make his inside forward movement runs so he needs cover and Vatinha done really really well in covering that often looking like a 4-4-2 especially out of possession with uh, Vatinha out on the left hand side so that's the reason why we're using the Carrillero taking more risk getting further forward and tackling harder moving to the attack line now the Mbappe role of course inside forward on attack on the right hand side we've got the Dembele role inverted winger on support taking more risk cross aim at the far post looking for those delicate chip um, crosses at the far post and tackle harder really to help with the high press and then lastly up top for the Ancensio role against Leon, we are using a false nine on support moving into the channels and tackling harder players moving into the channels is going to be very very important for a Luis Enrique tactic so now we can move into the team instructions. You can see that I actually used the uh, vertical tiki taka preset and then I made tweaks. I made a lot of tweaks. For an example, the attacker whip is now on 
wide, very wide, as wide as it can be. It was actually on narrow, as narrow it can be with vertical tiki taka, but we've tweaked it and we've made it wide. Stretch the pitch, make it big as possible when we're building up. Also create those spaces for us to exploit the channels. Approach play, we are using underlap on the left and underlap on the right. Now the movement was a bit, or oh, not a bit, way more fluid than just uh, PSG looking for underlaps. There was also overlapping runs. Hernandez didn't do it as much as Hakimi. He would he likely done it when there was the opportunity to do so rather than it being a tactical instructions. Regardless though, in Football Manager, we are using the underlap on the left just in case Mbappe has the ball and he can hold up the ball for the Carrillero to make that underlap and run. We're going to play out from the back, of course, with shorter passing, lower tempo, be more disciplined to make sure we do take up those positions in our positional play, dribble less and work the ball into the box. Lastly, when we do lose the ball, we are going to counter press to try and win the ball back. And then when we do win the ball back, we want to build a positional attack rather than a counter attack. So we are going to hold our shape when the goalkeeper has the ball. I want him to distribute the ball to the center backs. And by doing so, just take the short kick. Just take the short kick. Lastly, this is where things get very, very intriguing. Now, of course, you can imagine I started with a high press, high defensive line and then tweaked it to a high press and standard defensive line. But in truth, the football manager results, I felt it was the best at having it at low block with a higher defensive line. Now, I was going to say surprisingly, but uh, defending in the mid block just allowed our players to get into their defensive positions. And that actually allowed us to push up a little bit and defend effectively. When I was uh, playing with that high press, it just felt too easy for certain opposition, not even certain opposition. It, there was many opposition teams that we was playing against and it just felt like it was too easy to pick us off in this system. So we are going to defend in the mid block, but as you saw earlier with the PPDA, little effect. We still had the most or lowest PPDA. Basically, we were still the most intense team in pressing in League Un. And then lastly, we do have the trigger presser more often and get stuck in. Now, given I was PSG, I didn't manage to create an, an away version. And at Stoke, um, okay, I didn't show you, but there was games where we played against Leicester and I think Watford where we just got completely annihilated. But majority of the time, we did still keep 60 and well, well over 60% of the ball, which was of course a okay. If there were tweaks to make for those big away games, I would possibly use a DM on defend or remove counter press and just defend in the mid block against those teams but that wasn't tested with me and that's just my advice <clears throat> blindly but now we're going to move slightly into a new part of these videos so what i've got here is sort of a list of attributes that i feel will be important to make this tactic successful now you should work out what the average attribute in your league is for an example the attribute in league un would be around a high 12, a low 13. So we're just going to be searching for 13. And these attributes are balanced. So when your players are under, um, under pressure, they can stay on their feet and keep the ball. Agility, so they can move about quickly. Stamina and fitness, so they can handle the high press. Anticipation, just so they can read the game well and read their own teammates. Composure, so they should stay composed on the ball. Decision making, teamwork, work rate is going to be all important with the pressing off the ball, so your teammates can find each other and then keep possession of the ball. Passing and first touch, well, self explanatory to be good in possession. And of course, I'm not using attribute masking, so these are the sort of players that will be popping up for me. And just, I don't know, interestingly, we'll just see what the young players are that would suit this uh, PSG's team. Fresneda, Gavi, Alex Scott, Jude Bellingham, Musiala, Casede, Pedri, Camavingo, Dango, Otara, bring him back to France. Moises Casedo, Saka, Vanderson. Uh, Martinelli, Danilo, Santiago, Jimenez as well as a striker now. He actually looks like a very, very decent full snipe. He's got very good off the ball movement. Decent first touch. Finishing is very good actually. Passing to... Oh, who is this striker? He moves into the channels. He would, he would absolutely love a Luis Enrique tactic. But those are the attributes that I would go for for all sorts of positions. And then, of course, you would sort of fill in the others. Like for a winger, you would be looking for pace and dribbling. For a striker, you'd be looking for finishing <laughs> in midfield passing that sort of stuff tackling as well for your dm but that 
is the end of the video i hope you guys have enjoyed it as much i have recording this for you guys and of course if you haven't or you've just forgotten make sure you smash that like button make sure you hit subscribe check out the patreon as well the download link for this tactic is in the description i'll see you guys soon stay safe god bless and peace out